Hi, welcome. So this is going to be the same Qigong set as neurotargeted Qigong, specifically on how to regulate from a heightened stress response, so fight and flight or high anxiety, hyperarousal, down to uh, hopefully uh, rest and digest, so a calmer mental state. So in this video today, I'm going to have less verbal instructions so that you can just follow me through the movements uh, with uh, a lot less prompting than the first video, which I know was a lot of information. So hopefully if you wanted to practice with me, you could just walk through this and you would have less dialogue. Okay, so starting off first thing as we go in the Wuji posture, I can't say how important it is to get the Wuji posture, posture uh, down pat if you can. There's written instructions that come with this video. So whenever you can, even if you're in line at a, in a queue, which we, which we tend to be in the UK, um, well, in before pandemics, but if you were in a queue, then just always try and adopt the posture. Just keep practicing it as much as you can. It's so important to be in this posture, if we can, to regulate the nervous system, allow flow in the body. Okay, so let, let's go in the Wuji posture. Well, first off, let's gong in. Put your feet together, please. Touch your big toes together. And we remember the point here, he gu on the side of the thigh. We roll back hand upon hand, thumbs touching, front of the dantian, with your left palm, hold it up in a very loose fist, cuddle it with your right, draw it into your heart and down. As a form of respect to the forebearers of the teaching, we take a little bow. Now we go into the Wuji posture. Feet shoulder width apart, the medial aspect of your foot is in line with your hips. Okay, soft knees. Pelvis tucked in, sacrum tucked in slightly, elongated spine. Perfect, relax the waist. Pull up from halfway, apex of the head on a soft bungee. Elongate the spine again. Look without looking, soft focus, tongue at the roof of the mouth. And what you can do is you can Bring your knees softly together, bring them apart. Bring your elbows in softly together, bring them apart. Shoulders in, shoulders apart. Hang your arms, have little eggs if you like, a hard boiled egg under each armpit, that's the space you want. And just drop your palms down nice and loose. Wonderful. Now we're going to start the first movement, which is the Dalian Zung Fu, a modification. Um, so females, right hand on umbilicus and left hand on top, and the reverse if it's males, please put your left hand. What we're going to do is remember ever decreasing, ever increasing circles across the trunk of your body, and then ever decreasing circles ending up back at the umbilicus. Go at your own rate. I'll do it uh, quite quickly, but you can pause this and you can stop it, but you go 27 times. So we're not in a mirror reflection on this video, so you don't follow me. What you do on your side is go up, right, bottom, left is the anti-clockwise movement. Up, right, bottom, left, and then you do 27 times, ever increasing circles and massage your body. Do, do it on your trunk for sure. You can do it outside your body if you want, but... Um, it would probably be better if you had contact with your body. Do that 27 times, then go the other way. For the purpose of this video, I'm just doing a quick instruction. And then you go back to your umbilicus and slide down to your dante end, which is just below your umbilicus. Okay, so <clears throat> the next move is Sage Presents Peach, which directly targets the vagus nerve to help modulate it. Okay, so with your weight, remember on the right front of your foot, Yong Chuan, kidney point, be conscious of that. Put all your weight on the right part of your front of your foot with the opposing hand, opposing hand, the left hand over the body, right hand stays down, present the peach at two o'clock. Sage presents the peach, roll back to your heels, breathe in, change hands all the weight to the front of the left of your foot. Sage presents the peach, right hand crossing the body. The four moves of the feet.
and with this move I'd say pause and do it for five minutes minimum if you can. Very relaxing. Okay, the next move is embrace the mountain. Again, remember Wuji posture, tongue at the roof of the mouth. <clears throat> what you do in this posture is you bring your hands up and you, when you breathe in, and then you continue to breathe in as much as you can and tilt forward on the front of your feet so you're engaging kidney one. And then you roll, when you go back, when you exhale, you go on to the heels and the front of the feet so you go into even weight and you breathe, when you breathe down, pack the chi and the dantian so you're storing the chi. So you're breathing in and then you breathe in a bit more and you take the energy uh, from the chi in the air, you take it deep into your lungs, deep into your body, through your arms, through the meridians, through the channels, the pores of your skin, and then you pack it. And when you pack it, if you remember from my last video, you breathe in, say a cup, let's just say, and when you breathe out, breathe out, perfect gas exchange, don't get dizzy, breathe out enough that you don't go dizzy, but save some for yourself, so keep a third or keep a quarter for your dantian when you pack it, so let's do it, and remember, side on it looks like this, okay, so let's do it, inhaling, exhaling, and packing the chi into the dantian, Go as slow or as fast as you want. Follow your breath. Whatever's comfortable for you. That's embrace the mountain. Do that for five minutes. Um, also, you could do it like for 50 moves. Whatever, whatever helps you relax, whether it's counting or just timing and just letting your mind wander and then, you know, then realizing that the time's gone. So whatever suits you. And the final move, what's got a modification, is nature's fragrance drifts from the stream. So we are very conscious of the front of our feet. So grip your toes to the ground, the earth. And imagine the earth, if you like. You can imagine, you don't have to. But you imagine that you're sinking into the earth when you're, um, you're drawing the earth up through your body. I mean, sorry. So we bring it in. Bring, so we turn the palms. They're facing each other, the fingertips. Bring it in up the center line of your body. And we get to the lip area and we turn it down and we go and we pack some of the chi, we're saving some of the chi into our dantian, but always mindful that we don't want to be dizzy. So we want enough of the gas exchange to be working in balance. So we breathe in through the earth, the soles of our feet, through our lungs, through our nose, we turn it over and then we release some of the energy, but we pack some into our dantians. This is what we do, it's very relaxing. Okay, and the modified version, which I strongly suggest that you do, you can do the modified version instead of this version, but if you're going to do both, uh, if you're going to do this version, the first one, then please do both, okay, because this is really important, because it targets directly the vagus nerve to help modulate it. So this is a little bit more neuro-targeted at the same move. So if you remember that we breathe up, and we get to the mouth area, and then we turn it into face washing, okay, so we go, we touch the face, and we engage the back of the the back of the head, the cranium, we come under the jaw and we go down and we, we're targeting the vagus nerve and we go down and we pack the chi. So we do it again, we go up and then face washing and then back of the cranium, under the jawline, target the vagus nerve and go down and that's the modified version. I'd say if you're very stressed or upset, you've had a night terror, um, you know, something like that, something that's, you know, that's really stimulated or triggered your symptoms, if you're stressed, then this one is actually the most calming. So I would say do this 50 times, do it 100 times. You can do it as a standalone. You don't have to be too concerned about gonging in or doing the wuji. Be mindful about having good posture, but this one standalone move is really good. So do it in the day, do it in the night, whenever it suits you. Okay, so we go back into the wuji posture to end. So remember, feet evenly weighted in line with the hips, the and sacrum tucked, and we lift the pelvic floor and the glutes, and we relax. Look without looking, tongue at the roof of the mouth, hands hanging, um, hard boiled eggs in our armpits that we're um, imagining that we're holding, loose palms. 
Okay, and if you want, you can add the breathing where you take your tummy muscles in gently to breathe out and then allow the body to fill up naturally with chi. And then out. Breathe in naturally and then breathe out. And then breathe in naturally. Elongate the spine, apex of the head, bahwe. Elongate the spine. Great. And now we're going to gong out. Okay. So feet together, toes touching. Higu, this point rolls back. Go back on your little finger, rolls back. Hand on hand. Thumbs touching front of the Dantian. Left palm goes up and holds a very loose fist that you could hold a piece of chalk into. And then we cuddle it, bring it to the heart, don't touch the body, go down to the Dantian. And then we bow out in reverence to the teachings <clears throat> of our forefathers, or forebearers, forefathers. Um, anyway, look, thank you for your service and I hope that you find this helpful.